Welcome to the holiday edition of Spotlight on Downtown. I'm John Shanahan, the Executive Director of the Better Bennington Corporation, and along with Alicia Romack of Legacy Images of Vermont, we'd like to wish you a happy holiday season, and thank you for joining us as we take you on a tour of downtown Bennington. Hey John, I wanted to also share with you about our little no new boutique area that we've really expanded a lot here in 2000. And the ones I'm showing here and now are the hats and mittens by Kyber, who are all nice uh, wool, and they're great for adults and kids. As you can see, I'm wearing a moose hat. That's a great and they hat. Have matching yeah. gloves. And we yeah. have another whole series here of all nice fun ones, yes, type yeah. of thing. We have some uh, great colors to uh, choose from. So we're really proud to have this line that's doing very well for us. Jay, the f and, and don't even interrupt, but the first thing I noticed is when I stuck my hand in, these aren't just will it they're also lined they're with They're lined like on the inside. The yeah. same with the hats, too. Yeah. They're very, very warm and yes. thick. You really should check these out. That's right. Great gift for uh, a kid or something different. And exactly. I know they come in the adult sizes, they too, like your hat. They very warm. Um, the other thing really I nice wanted ones. to talk a little bit about is our Winding River uh, line, which are reversible jackets. In essence, you get two jackets for the price of one. And they look great with the uh, scarves that we also carry, also made by the same company. And uh, uh, we have all different designs from very formal to uh, holiday ones and so on. And they come in the regular sizes, small, medium, large, and extra large. Do you have those in your window up front? Yes, we do. do. We okay. have one right in I didn't realize you started selling those. Those are very yeah. sharp. Yeah. We, yeah. So it's not just the uh, art shop and frame gallery anymore. It's uh, no. that plus a lot more. Exactly. Yeah. Good for you guys. Okay. Right. Uh. The Winding River. Next up is the Bennington Arts Guild on the corner of South Street in Maine. Uh, we stopped in uh, today to get a uh, show you around, give you some quick shots of the um, the studio, and we ran into Cassidy Lane. Cassidy, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Okay, now I hear you're filling in for your mom. Yeah, my mom's um, a local artist in town, and she does jewelry, and it, she has it at the Arts Guild here. And so she has some that she's showing right here at the Guild. Yeah. Can you show us some of her pieces? Um, yep. Yeah, this is a silver bracelet and it's 0.999 fine silver mm -hmm. and she just makes it and she designs the stamps that she stamps into it and that's really sharp so that's a bracelet and you have that's a bracelet two and necklaces yeah this is a silver necklace that she also designed and made out of silver and she cut the silver pieces and welded them together that's sharp that's really and nice she also works with polymer clay and this is made out of polymer clay and she designs the pieces and then she puts silver on it and it makes them into circles and puts it on a necklace. And I'm going to put you on the spot. What is Palmer clay? Palmer clay is like, do you know what Sculpey is? Sculpey yeah. Clay? It's, it's kind of like that, but when you fire it in the oven, it hardens okay. into pieces it, it, of... And you design, add the design before you harden it? Mm -hmm. Really sharp. Yep. That's beautiful. Well, thanks, Cassidy, and we're going to take a look around um, the entire studio here because jewelry is just one part of the items that they have here. They have some really beautiful gifts or some uh, really interesting small, um, smaller gifts. Uh, and I think the range here is between about $10 and a few hundred dollars, so I'm sure whoever it is you're shopping for, you'll find something really unique here, and especially with your mom's stuff. It's not like she makes hundreds of these, so if, no. if you buy that, you've got it. Well, thanks, Cassidy. We Thank appreciate you. you taking us around today. Uh, but before we leave, we wanted to show you one last piece. Uh, this one in particular was created by two local artists. Uh, Paula Laporte from Paula's Weaving Workshop uh, created the chair, and it was painted by Judy Niffen, one of my favorite artists. Uh, the chair is made out of oak, and it's called Cattail. We made a quick stop at the corner of South Street and Main Street at the Verizon store, uh, probably the most visible place in downtown. We know you've seen it, but uh, if you haven't stopped in yet, I'm here to introduce you to Krista. Krista, who works at Verizon. Krista, thanks for letting us come in today. Of course. Now you're going to show us the most popular item of the year. Yes. Okay, what is it? This is our Fascinate that we have. It is one of our droids. Um, it has a touch screen, but also you can use it for, you know, text messaging. You can, there's applications on here. There's, you can do the web. It's powered by Google. Um, there's a five megapixel camera, which is very, very nice for it. Um, the resolution on the phone is magnificent. And there's just a million, million things that you can do with this particular phone. Um, the applications on it are endless. So 
Um, it's a wonderful phone. It's one of you know our top phones on the line of droids. So is that the right price? That is the sale price. Sale price on sale, sale for two hundred bucks. And yes. how long is that on sale for? It's going to be. Um, as long as this promotion goes, um, you but can also get a rebate on it. So, I mean, it's better than the retail price, which is about a $600 phone. No so kidding, yeah. Really I was surprised when I saw $200. That's a great phone. Um, now, as far as we're gift giving today, uh -huh. that's what we're going around talking yeah. about. Uh, if that's too much, are there accessories that people can buy in the store to give to somebody who owns yeah, one? of course. Um, we're actually, until noon, we are doing a free droid sale. So, as long as you get down here by noon, you can have one of these magnificent phones for free. You just, uh, well, scratch that. You're not going to see this until <laughs> next week. But look what you missed. Gotcha. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's great. Thank you very much You're for very taking welcome. us to the store. Have a great holiday season. You too. Now the next stop is the gift garden. Here we are at the gift garden, and I'd like to introduce you to our, I'm sure you've seen her a million times, uh, Betty and Beth, who are, uh, I'd like to say thank you for letting us come in today. And we're going to, if you take a few minutes to take us around to the store, tell us some of the big hot items for December. What's the number one hot item that is uh, usually uh, the reason people come in for December? We have the Thomas Kincaid uh, Santa's Workshop um, from Teleflora this year. Um, we have... What is that? Mainly French, fresh flowers. Fresh flowers in mm -hmm. some kind of vase that makes a Thomas Kincaid? It's a Thomas Kincaid created hand painted cottage that he designed himself. And then the flowers go with that. In, now that's an item that you can either deliver locally or send anywhere. Anywhere. Mm -hmm. So those gifts for the people that are out of town, you're not going to be seeing, but would like to send something special. You can call it in right. or stop in. Uh, we're located right here on the corner of West Main Street. Um, we have all major credit cards, so it's very easy to do by phone. Right over the phone. Or we love to see them, too. That's and true. phone number is 802-447-7222. 802-442-447-8, okay, oh. scratch that, 802-447-7222, well, that should be easy enough. Um, what else do you have in the store, which are nice gift ideas? Um, well, we always have gift certificates for anyone that, you know, can't decide. Perfect. Uh, we mm. carry a full line of gourmet items for uh, gourmet, and we do fruit baskets, and we also have gift baskets. So fruit baskets, gift baskets also can be sent anywhere? Mm -hmm. The fruit the baskets are really gourmet baskets too. Okay. When we add cheese and crackers, nuts, candy, and all that with it. It's very, very nice. Excellent. And um, I know th it's not just about gift giving here. It's also when you're preparing for the holidays. Um, centerpieces? All kinds. All right. And how about a range? Like if you're doing a, a normal... No, a range of price range. Um, if people are looking for our arrangements start at twenty five dollars and go on up to as spectacular as you want. Mm -hmm. I saw one of yours in particular that you had donated to a function that was spectacular. Oh, you. Um, so the uh, you can start off something small for twenty five bucks for the table, mm -hmm. or, or go over the top. If you're looking for something really special, make sure you stop at the gift garden. And we do um, have free gift wrapping. Free gift wrapping and uh, free gift wrapping over the phone ordering. Um, home delivery anywhere on earth. The gift garden takes pride in customer service and we've been here for going on 35 years. Congratulations. That's 35 years in downtown Bennington, folks. Betty, Beth, thank you again. Thank you, John. Have a great holiday. Thank you for stopping by. Mm -hmm. making a very special stop here on West Main Street. I'm here with Claudia. Claudia, thanks for letting us into Catbird Studios. You're welcome. What a phenomenal place. Um, yes, Sarah has done a fantastic job this year. Now, Sarah is the owner of the shop? Sarah is the owner of the shop. And where does she get her inspiration for this? this? It's very different. You don't find most of these things anywhere around this area. 
Well, she loves to travel, and so she's very interested in all different parts of the world, particularly Africa, which is our main display this Christmas. And uh, so she's brought things back. She just was in Africa the first two weeks of November. So things are just back from there, some things from Ghana, some things from Congo. Uh, and she added the ethnic things from uh, Peru as well to, to kind of give a, a sort of naturalist handmade quality to well, She's done it. I mean, you can tell there's, <laughs> there's a, a look and a feel to everything, that it's yes. an international, everything looks handmade and special. And when, you, when we're talking uh, products that were imported, we're not talking China stuff that no. unfortunately we're used to. That's correct. Um, yes. Make us stop in here to see some of these items. Uh, they really are incredible. You were, you were pointing out a few items earlier, um, yes. so, something like this or this. This is like a little Noah's Ark. That's like a little Noah's Ark of the African animals, all made out of a fiber that, that uh, uh, makes them brushy animals. Mm. And then we have these animals are ornaments that are from Peru that are carved from natural gourds and, and uh, um, they, I think that's a burn that they do and some of it painted and then uh, very cute little ears mm. and eyes. Those are more of the brushy animals. Those are great. The uh, little uh, niches made in Peru, uh, clay, the little uh, like a crush is made mm. in Ghana. Uh, that's a brass crush made in Ghana. It, it, it's probably not being able to pick this up on the camera, but if you stop in, you can see all the little detail. So it's a little brass crush, yes. and uh, the detail on it is incredible. And you can tell that it has like a, like a African yes, it's uh, an look African. to it. Is that what it is? Yes, it's oh, African. Okay. The baby Jesus is in a basket, yep. and the other people look like they're playing in a band, and that's, it's really quite yep. charming. Bringing the gifts. That's yes. incredible. And then knitted animals that are also ornaments. They're also from Africa. And all of these items are fair trade, so that they're helping uh, people in the various tribal areas, women in the various tribal areas, to make a living on their own. I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, being a downtown organization, you know we're all about buying local. Yes. Uh, and at Mayfest, we make sure everything's handmade by the people there. Yes. There's only one group that we allow that's not uh, local or handmade and that's the Peace Resource Center mm -hmm. because they do the same thing with our same sister thing, city yes. down in San Mateo. Uh, right. Fair trade is critically important when you're buying if you want to buy responsibly. Yes. So if it's not local, at least make sure it's fair trade. Uh, and this is nice that Sarah makes the trip herself, finds the items and brings them back to Bennington. And she also gives uh, a percentage of the pro proceeds to the African people. Where it she just keeps the getting market. better. Yes. <laughs> like, yes. um, Catbird Studios, West Main Street, uh, Claudia, you have some uh, December holiday hours. Yes, we're open 10 to 4 every day. We're going to be open seven days a week. Studios, 